In order to fully leverage the capabilities of the Vision X, Panini North America has produced an operator training video. This video is designed for those who would like to learn the basics of the Vision X. Four categories will be discussed in this video. Installation and setup, operation, maintenance and repair, and technical support contact information. Each category will include several topics. You may listen to the video in its entirety or click a specific topic for more information. Now, let's get started. Installation and setup. When unboxing the Vision X scanner, it's important to verify that you have all standard components. Vision X, power supply, power cord, USB cable, feeder extension, operator manual, inkjet cartridge. Due to electromagnetic interference from other devices, it is important to place the Vision X at least one foot away from any computer monitors and power supplies. To ensure Vision X scanner connectivity, follow these key steps. Place the Vision X into position. Verify both inner and outer covers are completely seated in place. Install the feeder extension on the Vision X. Adjust the pocket length. Connect the USB cable which came with the scanner to the Vision X. Connect the other end of the USB cable into the USB port on the PC. Connect the Vision X power supply to the Vision X. Plug the Vision X power supply into a 110 volt outlet. Before starting your check scanner application, there should be no activity on the device. You are now ready to start your check scanning application. You will hear the Vision X motors running for a brief second as the scanner initializes. The scanner will continue to initialize for approximately 15 seconds after starting the application. And then you will see a green light on the scanner indicating the Vision X is ready to accept documents. The two status lights located near the feeder indicate the status of the unit. Please use the table provided as a guide for the different status light displays. Operation. In preparing documents for processing, it is important to remove all rubber bands, staples, paper clips, etc. from the documents. Jogging documents is strongly recommended. Align the bottom edges by repeatedly tapping the bottom edge of the documents on a hard, flat surface. Check the bottom and leading edges once more to ensure documents are aligned. You may feed documents one at a time or in batches of up to 50 by placing the documents into the feeder. To prevent misfeeding, do not force documents into the feeder. The Vision X has an auto feeder which automatically detects documents in the feeder. For batches greater than 50 documents, the pressure plate must be pushed back before inserting checks into the feeder. To prevent misfeeding, do not insert more than 100 documents or force documents into the feeder. The feeder is designed so checks can be loaded continuously while the scanner is processing. This can be done by inserting checks behind those already present in the feeder. Processed documents are sent to the exit pocket. Remember to remove documents from the exit pocket when the pocket is nearly full. Jams may occur when the pocket is too full. Operator tips for maintaining quality transactions include, if your device is equipped with an inkjet cartridge, occasionally verify that endorsements are clearly printed. Occasionally verify that images are properly captured. If a jam occurs, the paper path must be cleared. A jam is usually indicated by the red flashing status lights on the scanner. To clear a jam, first remove all documents from the exit pocket and then clear the track by terminating the transaction in your application. If the track fails to clear all documents, extract the jam document by manually removing it. If you are unable to successfully remove the document, lift the inner cover to gain access to the track and remove the document from the scanner. Track access, including removal of covers, is covered in the maintenance and repair section of this video. Maintenance and repair. Performing standard maintenance on the Vision X enables the scanner to run more effectively and extends the life of the scanner. It's important to remember to disconnect the USB 2 and power cables from the device before doing any maintenance on the Vision X. The inner and outer covers of the Vision X should be removed to conduct routine maintenance or to clear a jam in the track. To remove the inner cover and outer cover of the scanner, simply lift the covers from their connected position. Parts accessible to the operator for cleaning or maintenance are identified by green labels. The U-Track wall on the Vision X provides complete access to the document track. To remove the U-Track, pull back on the lever marked with the green circle and locate it on the back of the track wall. 
To reinstall the U-Track wall, align the two tabs on the front of the track wall with the corresponding openings on the base unit. Push the U-Track into position until you hear a click sound, indicating the U-Track wall is connected. Cleaning the scanner is critical. Dust, lint, and small particles can infiltrate the track area. Here are key steps for cleaning the scanner. With the inner cover, outer cover, and U-Track removed, inspect and clean the entire track area from beginning to end. Remove staples, paper clips, rubber bands, and pieces of paper that may have accumulated during use. Using a container of canned air and nozzle, spray the track, feeder, and exit pocket areas. Cleaning the contact image sensors is very important in maintaining the Vision X. This is easily accomplished. With the inner and outer covers removed, gently open the front image camera and remove any debris and dust. Clean the contact image sensors with a soft, lint-free cloth dampened with water. Close the image camera carefully. Do not allow the spring to snap it closed. Cleaning the inkjet cartridge is another essential step in maintaining the Vision X. Depending on which version of Vision X, the size, shape, and HP cartridge number may vary, but all of the following steps apply regardless of these variations. Fibers, dried ink, or excess ink puddles on the nozzle can degrade print quality. If this occurs, remove the print cartridge by pushing down the plastic retainer and wipe the cartridge with a damp, lint-free cloth. Deionized water is recommended. Wipe slowly across the bottom of the print cartridge. Do not apply excessive force as this could scratch the nozzle area. Replacing the inkjet cartridge is a standard procedure for operators. Remove the used print cartridge by pushing down on the plastic retainer. To replace an inkjet cartridge, obtain a new cartridge and remove the plastic tape from the nozzle. Insert the new cartridge into the device Cleaning the photocells detectors throughout the device can lead to a cleaner, more efficient scanner. The six photocells are identified with white circles. Using a container of canned air and nozzle, spray the sensors to remove any dust. A dry, soft cloth can also be used. Care must be taken not to alter the position of the sensors. Replacing the feeder and separator roller rings after extended use is necessary due to normal wear. This can be determined by an increase in false feeds or double feeds. There are a few basic steps in changing the feeder and separator roller rings. Remove the inner and outer covers. Carefully lift the rings off the rollers. Install the new separator rings on the rollers by pressing down on the surface of the rings. Make sure the rings are fully installed on their shafts and are flat. Cleaning the reading transport belt may be necessary if the operator notices an increase in the number of mica rejects. There is a single black belt in the scanner and it is easily noticed when the inner cover has been removed. Clean the external surface of the belt with a soft lint-free cloth dampened with isopropyl alcohol. Turn pulley A, the tall transport roller located behind the image camera, counterclockwise to move the belt in order to clean the entire belt surface. Once maintenance is complete and the track is clear, it's important to reinstall the inner and outer covers. Installing the outer cover on the Vision X is completed by aligning the two shafts along the bottom edge of the cover with the holes in the base of the scanner. Then, push down on the outer cover until it is back in its original position. Installing the inner cover on the Vision X can be accomplished by performing the following steps. Insert the two reference shafts into the corresponding housings found in the inner cover. Push down on the inner cover until it is back in its original position. If there is a need to replace an existing Vision X scanner for another Vision X, disconnecting the scanner is quite easy. Terminate the Vision X capture application on the PC. Disconnect the Vision X power supply from the wall outlet. Disconnect the Vision X power supply cable from the Vision X. Disconnect the USB cable from the PC. Note which USB port the cable is using. Disconnect the USB cable from the Vision X. You are now ready to connect your replacement Vision X. Please follow the instructions provided in the installation and setup section of this video. You may need to ship your Vision X to Panini North America for depot repair. When packaging a Vision X scanner, the following components must be returned. 
Be sure all components shipped are the original components of the scanner. 1. VisionX Scanner 2. Power Supply and Power Cord 3. USB Cable 4. Feeder Extension Please use the original shipping material when returning the device. Remove the ink cartridge from the device. Insert the device into the protective plastic bag. Place the styrofoam end caps over the ends of the unit and place the unit in the shipping box. Place the power supply and power cord into the shipping box. Place the feeder extension into the shipping box. Place the USB cable into the shipping box. Documentation is required to return a VisionX scanner for repair. Shipments will not be accepted without a Return Materials Authorization RMA, number from Panini North America. To receive an RMA number, send a request to pna.support at panini.com or contact our support staff at 937-291-2195. You will be asked for your email address or fax number. Panini North America will then send an RMA request form in Word format. Complete the entire form and send via email to pna.support at panini.com or fax to 937-291-2197. Panini North America will send you an email or fax with an RMA number. You will need to write this RMA number on the outside of the Vision X scanner box and you must include a copy of the RMA form inside the box. The RMA form includes basic information about the scanner in need of repair. The RMA request form also has the return address for shipping the scanner to Panini North America. You will create a label and pay shipping expenses. When the device has been repaired, we will ship the scanner back to you via the same shipping method used to send the scanner to Panini North America. To reinstall a replacement or repaired Vision X, follow the instructions located in the Installation and Setup section of this video. Technical Support Contact Information Panini North America encourages you to take advantage of our professional support team. To reach our support staff, you can contact Panini North America directly by dialing 937-291-2195. Inform the operator that you would like to speak to a support representative. Also, you can find a wealth of information on the Panini North America website, www.panini.com.